First of all, an important announcement. Next Sunday, next Sunday is the 4th of July. So it's a patriotic day. We usually eat on the first Sunday. We will not be eating this week, <laughs> this next Sunday, uh, because it's the 4th of July and I'm cooking a low country bowl for my wife at home. We'll be there. <laughs> that's, that's her birthday. We will be eating next Sunday. We will be the church. Yeah. Okay. Bring the dessert. <laughs> that's what she wanted. That's what she said she wanted. So uh, that's what I plan to do. So, but I want to, we will not eat next Sunday. I'll get the announcement out for those that are not here now. I uh, also want to uh, let you know that this morning we started a new uh, uh, education, a Christian education class. And, uh, and we're studying the book of Acts, the Acts of the Holy Spirit. And uh, I, I wanted to share with you uh, who the teacher is. <laughs> Uh, because it's, I said it was, I was going to do it, but I got somebody better than me, you know. And you don't have to get too good to be better than me. <laughs> but, but I, you know, for a long time we've been talking about. Uh, I've shared with you that uh, we've had a gentleman come into our church every every morning, Monday through Friday, and pray, coming in and praying uh, uh, for the church and for the needs around and all. Uh, his, his name is Scott. The Scott, Scott Dirk Marchman. I say it right. Scott is, uh, is 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 agreed to teach this class for me, uh, and uh, he his church meets on Saturday. Uh, he follows the Messianic Jewish tradition, and they meet on Saturday. But he's here today, and I want to introduce you to him. His wife Lynn is with him, and he brought two friends. Uh, he brought Sheila and Keith with him as well. So they took up a row. Uh, Scott, stand up and let everybody get a look at you. <laughs> so I invite you, I invite you uh, to come to, to, to this education opportunity on Sunday mornings. We meet at 9.30. And uh, then, the, then there's another class going on that David and <coughs> is teaching, and that's uh, meeting on, and also so they're studying the Max Licato's book, uh, Ten Women of the Bible, so in the Bible. So those are two classes. I say this because education is so important in life. Christian education is even more important that we study the scriptures and know what the scriptures are. I can preach and preach parts of things 
and, and, and but I cannot, can't cover a subject preaching like you would. I guess I could take it and preach just take, I'll take this word and preach this right here and go, but I could do it. And people do do that, but that's not my style of preaching. I, I, I'm more of a storyteller in the, in the things of other things. But I, I invite you and I encourage you to uh, get up here at uh, 9.30 and, uh, and, and stretch your brain some. And uh, Scott is a wonderful teacher and, uh, and I, uh, I enjoyed the class. To me, I was the only person in there this morning that was not a member, that was a member of the church. And I'm not even a member of the church, I'm the pastor. <laughs> but uh, I know some of you will come and I hope you will come and invite others. This is a, a, a growing point for your life. And so uh, I actually come and support this Bible study and, 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 and support and come to know a wonderful man Scott and get to know him because you're going to see him around here for a while uh, and so and I just uh, I'm glad to see him here so I, I lift that up to you. The next sewing day women are making lap, lap blankets I, I think man uh, is that right and uh, next uh, it will be July the 7th at, at, at 6 p.m. they will meet, meet in the church back here they have the sewing machines they were they've done this three or four times they've done this now they're making pillows before now they're making lap blankets so women you come bring your stuff and even if you can't sew they could use you <laughs> so i see some people stuffing things and doing things like, so you're welcome to come and be part of that ministry so that's that next one will be wednesday july the 7th at 6 p.m i want to lift up the scripture signs uh, that are in the back uh, or some of them for example i brought a small one in here this says as we be in my house we will serve the lord uh, we're doing this as a mission uh, a mission project and the, all the monies that the signs are being created by Julie's husband Randy and he's doing these uh, for us supplying all the materials and workmanship himself donating them to the church and the church is using this I think we're asking for a donation of $15 uh, or you know our donate or a donation uh, for these uh, signs if you go in the back back here you'll see all sorts of got all sorts of ones with all sorts of scriptures you can put your own scripture that you like your favorite scripture on one and Randy will repair, repair it for you. And uh, that way, this, the money is from this project is going to be used to help those, some in the church who need help, uh, financial help and stuff of that, and missions like that. So I, I encourage you to to, uh, to support this. There's some flyers on the table back there. It explains a little bit more. Please look those over and, and, and take part in that. I want to ask this question. Is the nursery needs, uh, Daniel, have we, have we got that care covered yet? or? or it's all covered? Okay. You see this, but I'm sure we can, you can still donate funds to the nursery as we work on the nursery part back in the back. But that's going to be important for us in the coming months, I believe. Also, I want to lift up that in July uh, 18th through the 22nd is, is, is Vacation Bible School. The Rocky Railroad is going to be the program. We're working on that. It's going to be in the evening time. If you see Debbie, if you'd like to help with that, it's going to be a great time. Are there any other announcements that I'm not aware of? Good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to see you in the house of the Lord today. And I ask that we stand and say our pledge allegiance to the flag. We honor our nation. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Maybe seen it. Scripture reading this morning comes out of Revelation, the 21st verse, excuse me, 21st chapter, verse number four. God will wipe up every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. Let us pray. Father God, we come before your throne of grace and mercy. Today, with the knowledge that you love us and care for us, Father, help you help us to understand life and what life means. In the life, there's death, but in life, there's eternal life also. Father, be with us this day, guide us, let your Holy Spirit fall upon us, and we give you all praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen and amen.
Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good to see you here this morning. Again, we especially welcome our visitors and we hope you will see fit to bring you back with us again. Take your hymn book, you will turn to 349. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. 349. Let's all stand if you're able, please. Two times three. Show me two times
Will the ushers please come forward as we receive God's tithes and offerings? Father God, what a joy and what a privilege it is to serve you. Thank you for these two men. Thank you for their lives. Bless them, Father God. Let them know how important they are to you. Father, we give today. We give our best. We receive the best of Jesus Christ. It's in his name we pray and give. Amen. <laughs> Father God, we come before your throne of mercy and grace today. We ask that you hear our prayers. Father, you know the names that are on our prayer list. No name escapes you. You know the situations before we know them. Pray for all those who are hurting, those who are grieving, those who are hopeless. Pray, we pray especially, Father God, for those who do not know you. Not just here in our community, which there are many, Father God, 
but also across this great land and across our world. Father, help us, the church, to realize we have a responsibility, not only in our understanding of you, but to also to be witness for you across the world. Come, Father God, through your Holy Spirit and fall upon us. Rain down on us with your power, with your majesty and your might. Father, be with, especially with these people within the walls of this church who are hurting. We pray first for our own, then we pray beyond that to those we do, even we do not maybe know. And Father God, I just ask that you just come with your power and your mind. We pray for our nation, Father God, that you will help us next week. We'll celebrate the 4th of July, Independence Day. Our nation is being torn apart, Father God. Help us, help us to understand what's going on. Help us also to realize that the church is being torn apart. Both of these, the nation and the, and the church, sometimes are considered indifferent by many people. Oh, Father God, help us. We pray for your guidance and your strength. Father, come and rain down, as I said earlier, your Holy Spirit. Enlighten us, anoint us to be the people of God. Father, we praise you, we honor you, we acknowledge you as King of kings and Lord of lords. Father, I pray especially today those who are grieving, going through the grief process because of death. You know this has impacted me all week. Father God, I ask through your power and through your love to give us the peace which passes all understanding. Now together we pray the prayer you taught your disciples saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. The kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we give those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen.